Resting bitch face. I gotta make sure I smile. Julie Ruin was something that I thought of when I was sick in bed and I was just like super depressed and I was like you know I also thought of it when I was in the Tigra and then I rethought of it when I was sick and then I really wanted to make it a um, full band like that was always my fantasy to play the songs live so we learned those songs and then we made a record. Before we actually manufactured the record I would listen to our album late at night and send encouraging emails. <laughs> Like, I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us. <laughs> and then I'd wake up and be like, God, I'm a geek. And then you do it again. <laughs> People are rediscovering Riot Girl for the first time. In terms of our band, I feel like we're being so much more appreciated right now in 2013 than we were in like 1994. We're able to get appreciated without a lot of baggage that was in the 90s. History's on our side. You know, there were a lot of mistakes in terms of maybe the overarching politics of Riot Girl. Well, and plus, Kathy and I have been talking about nostalgia and how, you know, it wasn't that fun playing shows in Bikini Kill for, I don't know what you said, it was something really good. You're like, the percentage of good times versus percentage fun of that, fun. yeah, fun to not so fun um, was like... Not so great. Not so great. So... At least in the early days. Yeah. Yeah. Well... Anyway. <laughs> I think there's a lot of exciting stuff happening now. I feel like because women are more likely to cite each other as influences, it creates a continuum, like a feminist continuum within music, and I think that that's really, really positive. And it doesn't all have to sound like, sound like militant feminism or separatist feminism or Marxist feminism. It doesn't even have to have the word feminist used. <laughs> you know, I just think it's exciting that it's not that weird to be a woman in a band anymore.